PBS3 Duluth WeatherMax forecast with meteorologist Dave Anderson. Well, this morning, while the sky was still blue, it was a great day to get out with those warmer temperatures and work. Brian Perkla here. Here he is helping to pave the way to Grand Portage. This is around Josephine Mountain here. Later in the day, of course, the clouds began to thicken, and now some towns have been getting a bit of rain. And we'll show you who's getting it now with our latest Doppler map here in just a bit. But let's start with the current temperatures. After highs in the 80s for a lot of Wisconsin towns and upper 70s for many Minnesota places, well, we're now going down a bit. We have some upper 50s to look at here near the Canadian border from International Falls towards Ely and then on through Grand Portage. For the Masaba Range, lower 60s happening there. Twin Ports numbers are going 57 to 62, still having some trouble with the Duluth International reporting station. Low to mid 60s, though still in Moose Lake and mid 60s in Hayward and Solon Springs. Low 60s into the Upper Peninsula. Uh, the range of low temps tonight likely will be upper 40s to middle 50s for many places, which really isn't bad for September, so nothing to get too excited about there. Well, any rain to get excited about, any storms, not strong enough to be considered severe, but vigorous could be a polite term put on this line of storms that's rumbling through northern Wisconsin here right now. It was in the Lake Nebagaman area, now it's starting to head over towards the UP, and so Overnight tonight, our zones, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Michigan, faces a 60% chance for more showers and storms. How much will we get? Well, we need a lot. We need two and three quarters inches. North of Duluth, we may only get about a tenth or so here for the Iron Ranges. Once we get towards the head of the lakes, maybe if we're lucky by tomorrow morning, we'll pull a half of an inch. And then from east central Minnesota through northwestern Wisconsin into the UP, about a third to three quarters of an inch possible there. So our latest estimates have taken down the totals, but we'll still take whatever we can get. And here's what we get after the rain chance. Once we get into Thursday and Friday, cooler air filters in behind are departing low pressure systems. And so 80 today goes to 60 tomorrow. But this next low pressure system coming our way by Friday brings back another rain chance. It's a 40% shot and the temperatures will go back towards 70 or so. Well, we're not going to get 70 tonight, but the Minnesota range of low temperatures should run about 48 to 55 with a 60% chance for more precip. And folks in Wisconsin and Michigan get that same precip chance with low temps there running about 52 to 56. Taking a look at tomorrow for Wisconsin and Michigan, you may get some mostly cloudy sky and a little bit of rain through the morning hours there. Then in the afternoon, yeah, only about 60 and superior, but it could be as warm as 69 down towards Hayward. In Minnesota, about uh, 53 to 56 by the lake, and then 60 to 65 inland, so definitely cooler. And in Minnesota tomorrow, you get a morning rain chance, then cloudy sky in the afternoon, which then turns into that 40% chance for more rain Friday night into Saturday morning, near 70 Friday and Saturday, then a little bit cooler by Sunday, with another chance for showers, Tony and Kristen. It'll go from Sunday, Monday, into Tuesday. Mm, from shorts and a t-shirt today to probably a jacket <laughs> on the way out the door tomorrow morning, huh? Most definitely, Tony. Mm. All right, well, we're used to that. Thanks, Dave. Mm -hmm. Right Cliff Reservation